All right, listeners, welcome back for another deep dive. And wow, you guys have sent us some really interesting stuff this week. This one in particular is pretty wild. Oh, yeah. So get this. We have a photo of former Kenyan president Uhuru Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. And it's just a photo, right? But it's causing all this buzz online. Yeah, I saw that. People are really reading into it. I mean, it is really interesting. So our mission today is to figure out What's so fascinating about this picture? What's making everyone go crazy? And you know, what's the bigger story here? Exactly. And get this, he's wearing a hat. Uh-huh. Apparently that's not really his usual style. Not that I've seen. No. So right off the bat, that's kind of strange. Yeah, I can see why people are curious. Okay, so let's paint a picture for our listeners. What are we actually looking at here? Sure, so we've got Kenyatta looking pretty sharp, you know? <gasps> He's in a suit. He's signing a visitor's book. Looks like a pretty formal setting. Yeah, like an official event or something. Mm -hmm. And then there's the hat. It's this crisp white hat. Yeah, it's like it's almost glowing. It's so white. Right. And it's definitely drawing your eyes like the focal point of the whole picture. And you said he doesn't usually wear hats. No, not that I've ever seen. You know, he's usually more of a suit and tie kind of guy. Right. Very classic. Very presidential. Exactly. So this is definitely a departure for him. So what are people saying about it online? Yeah. I know you mentioned it, it was causing a stir. Oh, yeah. It's blowing up on X, formerly Twitter. Right, of course. There's this one user, Rogers Kapembe and Puru. Mm -hmm. He kind of started the whole conversation. He posted the picture mm -hmm. and was like, what's with the hat? Is it, you know. Is it a fashion statement? Yeah. Or... Is it a fashion statement? Is he trying to tell us something? Is it a health thing? Yeah, interesting. A health thing. Okay, so there's more to this than just the hat. Right. So some people zoomed in on the photo. Uh-huh. And they notice that Kenyatta's hands look a little swollen in the picture. Oh, wow. Okay. And, you know, people started speculating. Of course, speculating about his health, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's natural to be curious about, you know, a, a former leader's well-being, especially yeah. when they haven't been seen in public for a while. That's a good point, actually. Yeah. He has been pretty quiet lately, hasn't he? Yeah, this is like his first public appearance in a while. So this photo is kind of a big deal then. Oh, yeah, it's like his reemergence. And with the hat and the, you know, the speculation about his health. Mm -hmm. It's all very intriguing. It's like a perfect storm of intrigue. So how are people reacting to all of this? Yeah. I mean, besides the, you know, the online detectives. Well, it's really interesting, you know, Kenyans seem to have a very deep connection with Kenyatta. Yeah, I mean, he was their president for quite a while. Right, and even though he's not in office anymore, there's still this sense of, you know, attachment, I guess you could say. Yeah, like they still care about him. Exactly, and you can see that in their reactions to the photo. What do you mean? Well, there's a lot of relief. You know, yeah. people are happy to see him back in the public eye. Just to know he's okay. Yeah, but then there's also this undercurrent of worry. About his health. Exactly. They're concerned about him. They want him to be well. That's really sweet, actually. Yeah, it is. It speaks to the kind of impact he's had on people. It's like a reminder that even though leaders leave office, mm -hmm. they're still, you know, they still matter to people. Absolutely. And, you know, it makes me think about the broader significance of all this. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? Well, this isn't just about a photo of Kenyatta in a hat. OK. It's about how we perceive leaders, how we interpret their images. That's a good point. Yeah. Think about it. Leaders become symbols. Right. They represent more than just policies. They embody hopes, anxieties, national identity. I like that. Yeah, I can see that. And so every little detail about their image becomes magnified. Like the hat. Exactly. The hat, the way they shake hands, their posture, their facial expressions. It all becomes part of the story. Right. It's all subject to interpretation. Wow. I never thought about it that way, but it makes sense. And, you know, it's not a new phenomenon. Really? Think about Nelson Mandela when he was released from prison. Oh, okay. That image of him raising his fist became instantly iconic. It was so powerful. Right. It symbolized the end of apartheid. It was a symbol of hope. Wow. So you're saying Kenyatta's hat could be like that? Well, maybe not to the same extent, but it's definitely become a symbol in its own right. A symbol of what? Well, that's up for debate, isn't it? It is, yeah. Some people see it as a sign of illness. Right. Others see it as a fashion statement, maybe a sign of change or something. Or maybe he's just like the hat. Maybe he just liked the hat, exactly. That's a good point. We're reading so much into this. We are, and that's part of the fascination, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. It's like we're trying to decode a secret message. And maybe there's no message at all. Maybe there's no message at all. But it's still interesting to think about how we react to these things. Absolutely, and, you know... It speaks to our desire for transparency. Especially when it comes to our leaders. Right, especially when it comes to their health. We want to know what's going on. 
Exactly. And in the digital age where information spreads so quickly. It's hard to know what to believe. It is. And, you know, it's a reminder to be careful. To not jump to conclusions. Right. To consider the context, to not read too much into things. Right. It's easy to get caught up in the speculation. It is, but it's important to stay grounded. Okay. So we've gone from a photo of Kenyatta in a hat to a discussion about leadership symbolism and the power of images. Yeah. It's been quite a journey. It has. And it's all thanks to you guys, our listeners. I see those sources coming. Yeah. Send us your weird and wonderful finds. We love diving deep into them. All right. Thanks for listening. And until next time. See you then.